information tonight in the case of a city worker accused of groping a woman who was helping him test drive a car. WY5 News 4's Mike McCormick live and local at Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office with, with more. Mike. The mayor of Welford, which is where the suspect worked, tells us he got this handwritten resignation note this morning. The resignation was effective about 40 minutes before the suspect turned himself in. According to an incident report, a man went to a dealership on Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greer and asked for a test drive on June 12th. The woman who took him on that test drive told deputies that he drove to this church, pulled into the back parking lot, and got out to look under the hood. The woman told deputies that that's when the man groped her. She also told deputies that once they were back in the vehicle, the man grabbed her hand and forced her to touch his private parts and then exposed himself. After the investigation, deputies arrested Joel Owensby. It's my understanding the only part he did not confess to was exposing himself to the victim. Lieutenant Kevin Bobo with the sheriff's office says despite the partial confession, some people in the community are questioning the victim's story. From reading some of the comments that viewers or people on Forrest's website have called in who want to armchair quarterback this instant, I would have done this, I would have done that. That's kind of naive and ignorant. Uh, I don't think anybody can say for a fact what they would do until they're in that situation. And, you know, there's some commenters on there blaming the victim or saying her story sounds fishy. You know, and uh, this instance has been hard enough on her as it is without all that going on. The suspect, Joel Owensby, who goes by Jody, was the director of maintenance for the city of Welford. His photo was on the city's website until this morning when the mayor got his resignation. We hope it's just an isolated instance. This afternoon, Owensby's attorney told us he has no comment. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, live tonight in Spartanburg County.